pastor shows miraculous signs of life right before being unplugged for organ donation. I'm Shelby Lindsay, and you're watching Charisma News. 37-year-old Baptist pastor Ryan Marlowe was about to be unplugged from life support for organ donation when something miraculous happened, halting doctors from taking him in to organ removal surgery. The pastor of Grace Baptist Church in North Carolina was hospitalized after getting listeria, which is a serious infection that comes after eating contaminated food. His wife was across the hall when she heard her husband scream, someone help me. Ryan was choking on food. He was having trouble swallowing and doctors were trying to figure out what was going on. Earlier last month on August 27th, doctors pronounced Ryan neurologically dead after suffering swelling in his brain. Doctors called Ryan's time of death and notified the family that he was an organ donor and they were going to begin the process of finding matches for his organs. Three days later, on August 30th, Megan and her family went to the hospital to say their goodbyes. Megan's niece was sitting with her husband, showing videos of their children when something miraculous happened. The pastor started wiggling his toes. Doctors came in and Megan told them to halt. They were just moments away from taking the pastor in to remove his organs. And she told the nurses to stop everything right now. Megan told doctors she wanted tests done to verify that he was, in fact, brain dead. She had a deep feeling from God that this wasn't over. And she was right. After CT scans, doctors confirmed that Ryan was not actually brain dead, but had a traumatic brain injury from swelling and was in critical condition in a deep coma. Megan says God is not done. Ryan is getting surgery and continuing to prove with eye movements, with body movements every single day. God has moved in miraculous ways. And now Ryan's family is asking for the body of Christ to pray for his complete healing healing that he would have all of um, the surgeries and everything that he needs from doctors to make a full recovery. So right now, the body of Christ, they're asking to pray for Ryan, to pray for his family, that God would just continue this miraculous work that he is doing for this Baptist pastor and his family. Again, I'm Shelby Lindsay, and this is Charisma News. To stay up to date with everything that we're doing, make sure you to check out our website, charismanews.com. God bless.